All right, now you're wondering about um, cutting down your polys to quads. All right, so you have a lot of end gods. And what you need to do is, first of all, go by numeric greater than select. And that's going to select, if you're in the polygon mode, that's going to select all the polys that are giving you issues. So you really need to, with this, you really need to learn a little bit about edge flow. And the big thing that you need to know about that is take a look at, at the, the polys and a lot of times, like this right here, you'll get one polygon that has three vertices. Now, just make sure you don't select everything. And if you collapse that, um, that'll basically take your numeric polys down. Um, and that's why it's pulling out, you know, that thing. So that one disappears now. Um, and then if you want, you can go back in here. And this looks like to be, this one right here looks like it would be a great, um, it's two five-sided. So if I collapse this one here, that one turns that now into another five-sided. So I've gotten two gone there. Um, I take a look at these right here, and the big one that I'm coming up with looks like it's going to be this one right here. So if I just cut from here to here, like so that's going to basically probably solve that one right there. Now if I, and I'm going to only do half of it just so, uh, so you can see. Now these right here looks like you've got one poly, one poly, and then this one right here. These are your two problems right here. So if I collapse this like so, that's going to give me my, my four poly count right there. And I'll, I can live with three. It's the the fourth one, or it's the, the five or more. So that's all cleaned up right there now. Double check that. that that's all cleaned up right there. Okay. Um, this right here, uh, pretty much just cut. Into like so. And then what I would do is I would go into edge mode collapse one of these edges, back, uh, remove by backspacing out the other edge, and you have that cleaned up. Um, take this one, and I would continue it all the way through, or here's another way you can do this one. This one goes here to here, and remove that one, and basically, once I go back into poly count by numeric, that cleans up all that side. To clean up this side right here, um, what you really want to do is, if you notice, you have these edge loops coming all the way up here from the leg. What you really want to do is take a look at um, why this is happening. Okay, and Most likely, these are happening because if I look at it via the poly count, this one here has two vertices. Just always make sure that you're selecting it. Collapse that one in there. Uh, this one here has two vertices. Again, make sure that I'm not selecting something else. And pretty much now when I go back to my poly count, go to four poly count, see that one, that removes that. So a lot of your stuff is just stray vertices. And it's just a matter of going back and forth. Um, this edge loop here, you know, I'm going back in here, and if it looks like it's a four-sided, see like this one right here, if I just remove that vertice and go back again. So a lot of this, I think you you feel like you're chasing your wheels because it's what you're doing is actually um, cutting in because you're not realizing that it's multi-polygon. Um, something like this, I would just cut up here and basically cut into uh, this angle right there. And even this one, if I wanted, that's going to select, you know, that much less. And then if I look here, that edge really doesn't do anything for me. So I'm going to go into edge mode here, do a ring, and collapse that all. And again, that fixes that whole problem. Up here, you're just going to have to cut some more geometry there, all right? So basically, something like this, it's going to move over here, 
over here, up to here, down, right click, and then pretty much just continue on this side right here. Now, you have a lot of this geometry here that's that's causing, you know, you're going to have your problems right here because this doesn't come down. So what you can actually do is cut this down on this side like so and take this like so and then basically that's going to get rid of all that geometry. So if I do again select by numeric, all that's gone. Um, you know, that's this side needs to be fixed now, and basically it's probably because you have this this uh, spline right there. So again, just continue over. like so let's see go to numeric that's going to get rid of all that now I just have to deal with this and I can deal with this by simply dragging it down okay this is going to get rid of all those those tries and all those hard angles like so Like so. Now that's going to leave, you know, a lot of triangles here. So if I do less than four, that's going to leave a lot of these triangles here. So what you can do with these triangles is you can actually create two angles like this and then go back in and collapse that one. And what happens then is if you go to, we're going to go back to five and we're going to go back to greater than and that's missing right there now that one appeared because most likely I just have a double vertice in there right there I collapse that oops uh, that one's okay that one's okay that one's okay right there's my double vertice right there so if I collapse that that one solves that problem and then I can go in and cut from here to here, take those two, and that collapses that problem. So that, that's really how I'm getting rid of um, all this double geometry there. Um, and that's kind of the way you kind of have to go, is just go in and just start, you know, cutting up these, these shapes until you find something that you like. Um, you know, like this one right here doesn't even have any geometry on there, so it's just a matter of click, 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 and I'm done. And this is giving you problems because none of this is connected here, right there. Um, and what's, what's happening most likely is, and I'll show you, is this has got geometry way up here, so you're better off collapsing these two first, and then collapsing that one and that's going to solve that geometry right there um, you know so that's really what a lot of your collapsing um, is going to basically be doing you know you're just going to go through and clean up all that stuff you know like right here um, you have all this this extra geometry you can take a lot of this and run it into the back into the other arm um, you know, just look at your elbow and see how that's set up. A lot of this is, is simply um, just unclean geometry, and you just need to basically move that into, you know, either a loop or get rid of it, you know, collapse it all, stuff like that. And that's really how you go up and clean the geometry.